Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Hello everyone, welcome back to my studio. It is officially Peachtober. When you're seeing this, it'll probably be like the last week of Peachtober. In this video, it's probably like mid Peachtober, if that gives you any sort of like understanding of where things are. Currently, I'm like five paintings ahead, so I'm feeling really, really good. As you can see, look how many paintings I've got. But yeah, things have been great. I feel like this is the first year in many years that I feel like I'm not surviving, I'm thriving. I feel like every day I feel quite a lot of joy being in the studio. I feel that I'm so happy with the pieces and um, I've loved the experimentation that I'm doing. So every year I do like some experiment, some sort of experimentation within the pieces. Sometimes it'll be like, for example, two years ago, it was like using gouache for the first time. Probably not the best idea to learn a new medium within this 30 day challenge, which is already challenging, but it really pushes you because you just have to let it go because you have to do one every day. So you can't spend forever on it. You're just kind of like on the next one, on the next one, on the next one. The year after that, I think it was experimenting with borders and like symbols and things like that. And then this year it is texture. So I've been incorporating a lot, a lot, a lot of texture into my work. Oh, and all of the pieces have like a, a full background. Instead of being like spot illustration style work where it's sitting in the middle of the paper, I'm doing like full backgrounds again, which is something that I did two years ago, but fully experimenting with how much inky layers to show, using texture to create like illuminant looking illustrations and also like playing with color as per usual. So something that I've introduced is where you can see here like that really scratchy texture. I've been doing that a lot, which I love. And then using this like navy and black mix to create like a really, really bold, dark color as opposed to just using black. Like I really love it. I'm really proud of the pieces this year. Like, wow. And also like, I'm, I feel like everyone is getting better on the hashtag. Like every year I, I look at basically all the pieces because every day I'm looking at like thousands of paintings and going through them for the Peachtober Instagram account. But everyone, it's like the, the quality every year goes up and up. And I realized it's because we're all working all year round and then we come back and we check in with each other once a year and everyone is clearly like improved. Here I am, this is the first thing I do every day, I make the post. So I will put this in Photoshop, I'll, I'll zoom in, I'll find all the little dust specks, get rid of those, and then color grade it so that it looks a lot like the original painting. Because as you know, if you've scanned paintings before, you know that they don't come out as saturated or as contrasted. And then um, I will remove any imperfections, save the main image, then save a detail image, then create a image for the original sketch. And then also the digital sketch, which I superimpose onto like vintage graph paper that I bought. <laughs> this is what I do. This is my process. I really enjoy it actually. Like it's really satisfying to put these posts together and just be like, wow, like I made that. This piece in particular that you're seeing, which was for blush, I actually hated it. When I made it, I did not like it, not at all. I felt like that it was lacking in contrast. I felt like that it was not good. I think when it's all pink, there's just something about it. I feel a bit insecure or something. I don't know what it is. I have to unpack that. It just felt too not me. But then having scanned it and edited it, like there's things that I like about it. I love the texture in the tree and I love like the color palette actually. Whether I would put those colors in those particular proportions again, I don't know, but I feel like I tried it and I liked it. So I think that also like stepping away for a few days and then scanning it a few days later, you have like a completely fresh look on it. It's just like reassuring to me to be like, you might not like this right now. Like when I finish or f feel like I want to be finished with the painting, if I don't like it and I don't think it's perfect, I actually might love it later. Then I moved on to working on a painting that I half finished the day before. This one is for Tunnel. And the idea behind this one is that it's like, like the fruit salad gang going to like a house of horrors or something like that. I don't know, cause it's like, you know, fruit would see us as horrible because, or like the horror because we eat them. I just wanted to do this scene where it was like this giant head as the opening to the theme park. Cause we have something like that in Sydney called Luna Park. It's kind of one of those like, it is an art deco. It might be art deco style theme parks. It's not that fun. I feel like you can go once a decade, but if you go any more than that, it's a bit like, this is boring. It was exactly the same as it was when we were little. Anyway, so I finished that, then I'm getting ready because I think I'm going to lunch. Is that what's happening? Now it's time for lunch because we have to make sure we leave the house while it's daylight and have a look around and see things. This is Costa's. This is like a really good sandwich place. I like it. It's basically attached to like a car place. Like, Rocket, what is, what is that business? It's like a car tire place or something. It's a smash repairs. They just have this little window where they sell these burgers. And see this? See this? This schnitty? 
that is like how it always is. I got a club sandwich. I never got it before, but it was pretty good. After lunch, I started sketching the next piece, which was message because I had finished the piece for tunnel. And this one is just as like a super simple piece. I, st- I started thinking about like smoke signals and how it's like a means of communication. And then I thought that it'd be cute to have two houses communicating with each other using smoke, but it looked like iMessage or whatever. And there's like a hill in between, so they can't see each other. So all that they can see is the smoke. Anyway, that's, a- that's like where I'm going to leave the explanation for the piece because I want to talk about like what I've changed this year because I'm feeling great i feel like i'm thriving this year this is like it's day 20 right now i feel like i'm like amazing right now like i feel so prepared i feel like i can totally finish easily like five days before five days early so that i can like start prepping for my trip and doing other stuff and possibly prep for like the peachtober store drop which is always like i want to get done by the end of the year but anyway like i'm feeling great this is my routine and i think having this routine really help so coming in doing the post cutting my paper doing the line work doing the ink letting that dry doing something else on the computer then coming back to the ink doing the acrylic gouache and then the final pencil details and just like making sure i'm keeping it quick making sure i'm actively reassuring myself that it's okay if it's not perfect make sure that i'm actively letting go of things that i don't deem as absolutely perfect but like don't matter because it's just for fun if that makes sense i think the last few years i got caught up in it being perfect i got caught up in it being such a big challenge because of how like I guess popular the prompt list has gotten over the years I feel like I've internalized that in some way and I feel like I need to compensate by like being on the hashtag in every spare moment of my life and make sure I don't have any breaks and making sure the lighting consistent by blocking out the windows and only having artificial lighting so therefore I don't get any sun for the whole month like that is not healthy I feel like my epiphany for this year is that being efficient isn't always the best I feel like being efficient is great you're like super productive, but it's a recipe for burnout. Taking things slow can be frustrating, but also there are like net benefits. I don't know if that's the right word, but there's like a benefit for it. For example, appreciating a walk. Instead of driving everywhere, walking there, even if it's going to take like 20 to 25 minutes, like it's better for your mental health. You become more active in the day. Like there's like all these these benefits for these things that you don't think about because you're like, oh, I just want to get there quickly. I don't have any time. But actually you're incorporating all the stuff that's going to keep your brain happier and therefore make you productive for longer rather than just burning out because that's how I feel like I was treating the last couple of years (laughs) and it was like I'm only realizing now that it's not the best way which is silly and I feel so silly but like I'm so glad that I've realized this because I'm so happy by this time last year I think I would be really exhausted and like really ready for it to be over but I'm like loving coming in every day and painting and I've like found a lot of joy in that I feel really confident Um, more confident than ever with like my style and more confident than ever with the mediums and as I mentioned I might have mentioned this in the last video but I have a book project that my first deadline is for in mid-November so I have to get straight into that after Peachtober finishes had this been last year I would not be able to usually I need like a month recovery I don't know why I don't know why I, I treated it in such a way where I was like not able to recover in like a week or something like that or even two weeks but so basically when this um month ends on the 31st the very last day i'm going to singapore with my little sister we're gonna go say goodbye to my grandma's house because she sold her house and then we're going to be there for a week spend time with family see natasha aka sad shrimps while we're there and then i'm going to simultaneously like start on my book project i come home i have my book deadline a week later then it's my birthday a week or so later i'm going to tasmania because my mom just moved to tasmania tasmania if you look at like a map and look at australia there's this little triangular shaped island underneath australia that's tasmania it's still a part of australia it's just not part of the mainland but i'm excited to like go there more often now since mom has moved there so we're going there and our Singaporean family's coming down it's gonna be really fun it's gonna be our Christmas celebration even though it's in November and then I come home and then we you know like do Christmas at home and spend time with friends and stuff but I feel like so prepared so I've got my first book deadline in November which means I cannot burn out which means it's impossible to burn out (laughs) even if I wanted to burn out but I don't I honestly feel like I'm gonna be fine and this may sound so silly you guys may have already figured this out but I feel like I got into this mode of just like wanting to get as much done as possible because I fear that at the end of my life I'm just gonna like regret not working harder because I have so much that I want to achieve with my work I don't really have hobbies my new hobby is reading but other than that I don't really like do anything I obviously see my friends and stuff but like my work is like my priority Um, I think because it's I love to do it and can live off of it it's difficult to not make it so and I'm fine to make it so but I think there's some things that I was doing that made me unhappy and I didn't realize that so I'm like so stoked I feel like wow I'm proud of myself for this year for like figuring it out somehow and I think it came through therapy as well but like wow 
so cool so usually i've been staying until sunset is about 7 p.m so i usually paint until 6 30 or so and then i'll start doing the reel which will take me to about like 8 8 30 and then we'll leave go home have dinner play with tonks watch a show or a movie have a shower do my skincare and then get into bed. Look, here's Rocket watching my reel. So cute. Rocket watches every video of mine before it goes live. He's the first one to see it. And I always like, I'm looking to see if he's smiling at certain parts or if he's impressed by certain parts because it's a gauge for me of like whether you guys will like my video. So thank you, Rocket, for being my guinea pig, man. I really value his opinion because he has great taste. And also he's in the creative industry. So he has his own views and even though if they're even if they're different from mine you know when you want to go to dinner and then you're like what should we get and you're like i don't know and then someone suggests like oh indian food you're like i don't want that <laughs> that's what i do sometimes sometimes even if his taste isn't right it helps me understand my taste as well not sorry not isn't right sometimes it, <laughs> sometimes if his taste is different to mine and he says an opinion i can be like oh i actually don't agree with that but it helps me like for inform my opinions on my own work it's so great. I honestly also this this month have been really grateful that we we are the way we are. We get to work side by side because he, he has his studio next to mine. Bounce ideas off each other and understand what each other's challenges are and like the industry is like. Offer a different, slightly different opinion. And also just like, I don't know, I just feel, felt, have felt so grateful this month too. I think it's like actively reassuring myself, um, being kind to myself and also being grateful for like the things I have, being able to like have the studio that I do, have like little tonks, have Rocky and just like it, life is just great. So I don't know. I feel like so weird right now. <laughs> What's going on? What's happening to me? I want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your website. After I finish Peachtober and after I go to Singapore, I'm going to come back and I'm going to choose my favorite Peachtober pieces, probably like five or so, and then put them onto my portfolio. And I think you should, you guys should do that too. Peachtober is a great time to have a bunch of work that fully represent you in this moment. People will be looking at your portfolio and they'll say, what kind of work can she do? And if it's the work that you want to do because it's your personal work, you will get the jobs that are the work you want to do, if that makes sense. Squarespace is super easy to use. As soon as I've got these pieces at the end of the month, I can literally plop them in, write a quick little blurb and I'm done. I reckon I could update it with five pieces in 20 minutes. Is that crazy? Like four minutes a piece? I don't think so. I think that's really easy. If you guys have not tried Squarespace before, I definitely recommend go to squarespace.com slash free little peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. Battle. I hope you guys are having a great peach trade, but I hope you're being kind to yourselves. I hope you took some of my tips on board of how to like make sure that you're on top of it so that you don't feel stressed. And also remember, you don't have to do every day. It's okay. I do love seeing your pieces though. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.